Guys, what's up? How you doing? Chris Rod, Sun City Lawn Care. Oh man, look at this green yard. Things are looking really good, okay? Uh, if you guys have been following along with the channel, you should know that we are in an aggressive approach of lowering our pH through the applications of ammonium sulfate. Um, we are doing some citric acid and we are doing increased uh, application rates of elemental sulfur. Um, if you want more details about that, go ahead and watch the video down below. But today, before we get into some of these clouds, what I'm trying to do is address a small issue. Okay, nothing too crazy, not too big of a problem, but I do want to mention it. Uh, and that is lime green grass blades, okay? And uh, let's see if we can point some of this out real quick. See if you guys notice some of it. There's uh, some of the lime green color right here. So you get nice and dark green here. Then you come to over to the left. We got some lime green grass blades right in here. Hopefully we can get a good good image of that there so you can see the difference in color there that's one spot a little sporadic spots here and there here's some more dark green then we get into some lime green and then over here is another portion and i think you can see that very well i just mowed it uh, this morning so we've got a few scalp marks I always get scout marks in this area of the law for some reason too, but check that out. Lime green, okay? So what we're gonna be talking about today is why is it lime green and how to fix it. So without further ado, essentially what's happening, actually before I start that, let me show you the rest of the lawn real quick, because small spots dark green and then you get into this area right here some more lime green color right in there dark and lime green that's the topic of the video today why is my lawn turning that lime green color and so what you got to do is you gotta you gotta get back to investigating the problem okay and through that process there's a couple steps that we can take to figure out why is it turning the lime green when it's been green or dark green all season. Hold on. Sorry about that. I felt like I was talking over the uh, pool pump there. Okay, so it's your lawn's been green all summer or all spring, all summer, and then now you start to get some of these issues some of this lime green color okay we got to figure out what's going on with it and essentially you can contribute to a couple different factors on why it's turning that lime green but you got to become a little investigator and you got to figure out what's going on and get to the, the root of the problem for starters okay all right so this area of the lot we're going to address first okay and uh what i wanted to point out and this is something that we made a video about uh and we've captured two portions of this section of the lawn in two previous videos but it's pretty tore up here okay and what had happened was is that the root system has been eaten away by by pest so your lime green area the first step you want to take before you go and immediately try to do any kind of applications or rule it as an iron deficiency is you got to take a couple steps okay the first step you want to do is what's called a pull test because we have because we knew we had a previous issue here you want to rule out the fact that you've got a continued issue of possible pest or grubs okay so some of this actually comes up a little easier than i would like um, it could be moist, just moist soil, okay? But when I do a good pull test on a majority of it, I don't get a good root system that comes out. So I'm going to go ahead, test another area here. Same thing, lime green spots is what I'm looking for. Look, see that? 
See how that's lime green? Give it a good pull. Nothing's going on, okay? So we're gonna come back on this side. Oh yeah, you can really see it there. Let's go ahead and give it a pull test. All right. So we don't have any damaged root systems, okay? That's what I'm trying to get to, the point I'm trying to make initially here. Is that I'm going to rule out pest issues. That's step one, guys. You guys, see me, you see me banging down that core puller? That's the worst thing I've ever bought before. Um, it's a great tool to have for when you're trying to pull a core, but they put this way up here. I think it should be down there more in my opinion. That way you can poke through it and you can see more of the core because you're only gonna pull a four, five, maybe six inch core. But anyways, so, the next thing you want to pay attention to is your moisture levels, okay? Water plays a role in whether or not you're going to have a green, a dark green or lime green. And if it's starting to turn lime green, uh, water, moisture levels, okay? So what we're looking at, we've got sandy soils here. So what, sandy soil systems here in El Paso, West Texas. Uh, I'm sure you can see the moisture level in this. It's nice. It's dark. Uh, root system, you know. Not the longest root here, but you know, if I pull this core apart, you can start to see it. it you know, the the root system essentially is going through the core. Uh, pulled about a three and a half, four inch core here. Thatch, very minimal thatch. Okay, I'm not concerned with that. And the grass clippings. I don't normally bag the grass clippings, um, but I mow probably three times if I get the opportunity. I mow three times a week. Lately, though, uh, you know, we're deep into mowing season, so it's only been about two times per week. Um, so this soil, you know, it's it's wet, it's moist, and I haven't watered this. Actually, I cycled the system yesterday, but before yesterday, I haven't had to water in about two and a half weeks. Okay, and uh, like I was saying, I haven't had to water in about two and a half weeks. The reason for that is because of the vast amount of rain we've been getting, getting, okay? We've had one week ago, a week, one day it rained. We got about four inches of rain in one water, and it's kind of unusual for El Paso. I measured out the amount of water we got in the area on my lawn, um, some of my clients' lawns, and I know for a fact that we got four inches of rain, so I haven't had to water, okay? So step two essentially is you're gonna pull a couple cores if you happen to have um, a plugger, you know, something you can pull a core with. If not, don't worry about it, okay? You just have to know or be familiar with your watering cycle, okay? If you're still, for example, not getting any water, but you've been watering three times a week, then you should have a pretty good idea that your moisture levels are good. So what's happening is um, in my lawn, what, uh, I'm, what I'm gonna end up contributing this lime green color to is a push of growth, okay? Or rapid growth, if you will. And typically, and I'm seeing it a lot in some of my client lawns right now, is that I'm seeing a rapid amount of growth inside of the lawns because they've hired a professional to go ahead and fertilize their lawns and uh, the fertility in combination with the vast amount of rain we've been getting has caused rapid growth. So when you push too much growth, what I'm getting at, when you push too much growth, it can cause lime green discoloration or chlorosis inside of your grass, okay? Um, essentially what's happening is the water, the amount of water you're getting, um, 
let's talk about the water first. The amount of water you're getting, if you're getting heavy rains like we have been here in El Paso, you're getting an extreme amount of saturation through the soil system, and it's um, pushing down some of the sediments, which is good, okay? But it's also causing the plant to grow at a rapid pace, okay? And when the plant or the grass grows at a rapid pace, it's gonna be utilizing a lot of those nitrogens, uh, I'm sorry, a lot of those um, micro or macronutrients inside of the soil. So if you guys have been following my channel, you know that um, you know, the fer fertility program that I'm running right now this particular year is an ammonium sulfate, okay? I've transitioned because we're in the process of lowering our pH here. So rapid growth, if it's not coming from water or rainfall, okay, and it's coming from fertilizers that you guys are using, whether you're buying from the big box stores um, like Home Depot or Lowe's, um, a lot of those fertilizers contain urea nitrogen, okay? And that urea nitrogen uh, is pushing an excessive amount of growth and the plants uptaking a lot of the iron, in this case, nutrient. So it's depleting your soil system of that one particular nutrient that actually causes the, the grass to stay green. That in, uh, in combination with the uh, chlorophyll that's inside the plant, um, it's just basically utilizing the micronutrient more than it's used to either due to heavy rains and increased growth through fertility and the rain okay the combination of the two so in my lawn for example what i'm basically going to be contributing contributing the yellowing of the grass blades the chlorosis is simply because of the excessive amount of rains that we've had okay um, and the lack of iron okay so you know you take a couple steps step one you, you got to do a pull test on your grass okay uh, check your thatch layer okay make sure you don't have an excessive amount of thatch built up if you guys aren't bagging your clippings because what can happen is uh, too much thatch or too much dead grass you don't bag is going to prevent the water from actually penetrating the soil um so step one step two step three pull a core out check your moisture levels if you know you've been watering or you've getting a sufficient amount of rain then your, your moisture levels should be good but essentially um how to fix this is what we're going to be talking about next but i know it's not an environmental issue as well okay and sometimes um depending on where you guys live if you have issues throughout maybe the neighborhood or something of the nature or you've got a lot of clients in your local area maybe your own zip code that are having similar issues it could be an environmental issue okay the soil systems um don't have enough of the appropriate amount of nutrients so you have to go and maybe apply some gypsum on the lawn uh kind of balance out that ph but we're here to talk about my lawn today so it's not i know it's not an environmental issue because majority of the lawn over there is nice and dark and green i just have these you know this particular side of the yard and a couple spots okay i know my watering's good we've had plenty of uh of rain okay um in my lawn though this year i'm not utilizing a fertilizer that has uh, um, iron inside of it normally i do okay whether that be through uh, carbon x that we used last year or a couple years back when we had been using uh, some malorganite some of those products contain um, iron inside of them okay a flagship which i use one application at the very beginning of the season that has a little bit of iron in it if i'm not mistaken it does and then <clears throat> this year i've backed off my applications of micronutrients okay which is one of the products we're going to be applying today which is uh green county fertilizers micro green okay that's got three percent iron okay normally throughout the growing season i'm applying a micronutrient just to keep those levels appropriate uh as we're growing okay so i don't have to worry about them but again going back to my lawn the fertilizer i'm utilizing the 2100 the ammonium sulfate has no iron in it okay so you know, I did the pull test. I know it's not pests, okay? And I know it's not pests because we've done two applications of uh, grub control this season so far. Uh, I did the pull test. I know it's not pests or, you know, grub worms, sod worms, army web worms. Um, I've been applying a fertilizer that doesn't have any iron inside of it. So I, that kind of leans me towards the iron deficiency, okay? Um, the chlorosis is due to iron deficiency. And the 
mere fact that we've had so much rain, I know that the growth of the grass has started to utilize whatever nutrients are inside the soil system, okay? Real quick, something uh, worth mentioning here when you guys are dealing with the lime green issues uh, inside your turf, if you're coming across this lime green color, okay, something else to re remember is that um, if you guys are pushing uh, fertilizers with, you know, high phosphorus, or if you've done a soil test and you know you are high in phosphorus,